Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Kingsley Gore-Tex jacket. Rucker's new top-of-the-range textile jacket doesn't leave many stones unturned in trying to create the most serious bike jacket around. It's got a proper price tag to go with it. This jacket is £1,449.99p as we record this, but it's got a proper specification to match that price. It's made from the highest grade of Gore-Tex protected outer material with extra reinforcing overlays of heavy duty ripstop and armor core material. Ripstop is a material with tougher thread crisscrossed through it to stop tears developing any further than they need to. And armor core is a crazy tough material that combines Kevlar and Cordura. You get those overlays at the elbows and the shoulders. First it's ripstop and then the armor core goes over the top of that. And then beneath those layers is Gore-Tex Pro, which has Gore's three layer waterproof material laminated to a protective outer shell. This gives the best protection against serious rain as the waterproof membrane gets into the fight earlier than it can in jackets where the membrane is a separate liner on the inside of the jacket. So it stays drier in the first place and it's also quicker to dry completely afterwards. There's helpful stretch material in the places where it helps the most. There are accordion stretch panels at the back of the shoulders and then stretch cordura inside the elbows and under the arms. But this jacket isn't all about bad weather. There are plenty of vents to draw in cooling air in the summer. You get them on each side of the chest, just here, the upper arms in here, and then there's a vent on either side of the spine and then also at the hips just here. These two at the hips have two-way zips, so you can use them as expansion pleats or just as a more traditional vent that opens up to allow some airflow. Because this is Gore-Tex Pro, the waterproof membrane opens up when you undo a zip vent, so you'll get a freer flow of air through to the inside than you'll get on a jacket with a membrane fixed inside. As well as those expansion pleats at the hip, there are Velcro fit adjusters at the hips down there and poppers to adjust the tension around the biceps. So the Kingsley jacket fastens with a chunky zip and there's a storm flap that Velcros over the top to stop any rain getting through to the teeth of the zip. The collar is a simple enough arrangement, it's a Velcro closure for a neck that I found quite high, which is often the case with rucker jackets and that helps you stay warm in winter. There's an additional waterproof storm collar that's stowed inside the main collar pull it out, secure it to the popper at the throat and you can get even more protection against rain. The cuffs on this are the ideal kind really for waterproofing. There's a gore section that goes under your glove, just here, and then the main outer can zip over the top of your glove. The idea is that you get an airtight seal between your jacket and glove, but you still have water running off the jacket, onto the glove and away rather than inside the glove. And if your glove does soak up any water, this gore section stops that water wicking up and getting your clothes on the inside wet. So switching to the inside, there's a warmth layer supplied with this jacket and it's a bit special really. It's a puffer lining that can be worn separately and that sort of jacket comes in really handy on your travels. It compacts down under the jacket really well too, so it doesn't add needless bulk and it made my life way more comfortable on some really cold rides. In fact, I nicked the liner from this jacket and wore it under some other jackets as a mid layer because it's been really cold recently and I needed a bit of extra protection. There's also an outlast lining fixed inside the jacket, which helps to ease the change from riding in hot weather to riding in cold weather. And then behind that is the mesh liner, which holds the bulk of the impact armor. There's a full set in this jacket, and by that I mean a full set, as you get protectors for the shoulders, elbows, the back, and also the chest, all as standard. It's all D3O armor that's soft and it's pliable, so it doesn't hinder your ability to move around any more than is necessary. The armor for the elbows and the shoulders meets the higher level two within the CE standard for impact protection, and the shoulder armor covers a much bigger area than a normal protector. The chest armor meets level one of the standard for impact protection of the chest, and the back armor meets level two. It's a full back protector, not just a protector for the central back area like you get in some jackets. And if you're wondering how to get to it, once you've got one of these jackets, there's a zip on the outside of the jacket at the base of the spine. If you undo that, you'll find the protector perched in there. Inside the jacket, at the back, you'll also find a full length zip to connect up to rucker trousers. And there's even a crotch strap if you want complete assurance that the jacket's not gonna ride up on you. In terms of pockets, you get one inside the main shell of the jacket, which has a section within it to hold your phone. There are two further pockets in the puffer lining, which also has a small stuff sack. So you can tuck the liner jacket into that and it'll take up hardly any space in your luggage at all. Then to finish off the pockets, on the outside there are three, two hip pockets just here on the outside and then a cargo pocket at the base of the spine. All three of those pockets are water resistant and they even have a label to tell you that. 
So as well as the impact armor, there's an overall CE rating for this jacket as a whole garment. It's the first rucker jacket I've come across that gives a protection level within the most recent approval standard, and this one meets the middle level double A. So let's talk about price. As I said earlier, this jacket's 1,450 quid. And if you want the matching trousers, they're 1,050 quid in their own right. So the total is two and a half grand for the combo. So this kit is very clearly aimed at riders who mean business, as that's a lot of money to lay out on something that only gets used every now and again. One of the groups who are most likely to be attracted to this is police motorcyclists, which is likely to be the reason why Rucker have decided to have this jacket tested and approved to the most recent CE standard. It is a lot of money to spend on bike kit, but this has been absolutely great in my experience of it, and it's hard really to think of any possible features that it doesn't have. The warmth layer that comes with it is really, really warm, and it's included as well, as is it chest impact protection, which you very rarely find as standard on a jacket. For road riding, in my opinion, this jacket is probably the pinnacle of what's available right now, so if your budget will stretch this far, then I doubt you'll be disappointed with what it offers. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Rucker Kingsley Gore-Tex jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.